Basil King was a Canadian clergyman who retired and became a writer, and he died in 1928. One of the most profound things I think he ever wrote was, Be bold, and mighty forces will come to your aid. As we all find in our lives a time where we question, what are we doing here? What is our mission? Why am I here? Richard Bach, read one of his books, excellent inspiration, once wrote, here is the test to find whether your mission on earth is finished. If you're alive, it isn't. I personally believe that every one of us has to look, really has to look at the world through a child's eye, not to be cynical, never to be cynical, to always be willing to learn something. Just because you've done something for decades doesn't mean there's not a better or different way that might bring you more pleasure and satisfaction. One of my favorite people, and I would quote him forever, is George Bernard Shaw. And I find myself right now at a time in my life where I will be facing one of my favorite quotes from him, which is great change, which like taxes and death are the only things that you can count on. And he wrote, the people who get on in the world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want and if they can't find them, make them. So I'm busy making mine. I'm busy creating mine because I certainly can't find the circumstances that I want or other people appear to want to limit me. And that brings me to Robert Fritz. And I have to bring in all these sages because I feel I have some wisdom of my own to offer. But it's interesting for years to hold on to the quotes of so many people that did inspire me to reach out, take my foot off the shore, and step into the water and sink or swim. And Robert Fritz wrote, If you limit your choices only to what seems possible or reasonable, you disconnect yourself from what you truly want, and all that is left is a compromise. It's no secret to myself that I regard myself as a writer. I would also say an artist. But it is with words that I am fascinated because it is through words, the written word, plays, great writings, a library that takes up most of my house. And I've actually read 99% of the books that I actually own. And I once read a quote. I've read so many, but they stick with you. And I've looked this up to make sure I quote it correctly, that Gene Fowler wrote. And he said, writing is easy. All you do is stare at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. <laughs> I laugh over writing. Einstein told us that imagination is everything. And I regard creativity as the magic we all have in our lives. No matter what you do, it's your creative playing that makes your life a success. When you're creatively playing, you're doing something meaningful for your life, and no one can be you. No one will ever live in the decade that you were born, the decades that you live, and in the way that you will end, and we're all going out. And that's not depressive. That just means you get to do a do-over, probably. I am not sure where the road I'm taking is going to end up, except that I do know that I will be truly doing what I feel moved by, inspired to do, and I know it will be helpful to some people who find what I say and what I dig up, my humor, my wisdom, what knowledge I may have to be life-enhancing. Charles Kingsley said it best, we act as though comfort and luxury were the chief requirements of life, when all that we need to make us happy is something to be enthusiastic about. And I can't be more enthusiastic about the journey I'm embarking on. Join me.